Okay guys, uh, I've been asked to do to tie a couple of my patterns, my flies, um, um, to accompany the videos I've done over the last four, nearly five seasons now. Um, so I'll just tie two or three, one after the other, um, of my most popular flies, the ones that catch me the most fish. And the first one I'm going to tie is um, a parachute version I call a, a spider. It's based on the Greenwell's Glory body. It won't have a tail. It'll have a Pearsall's silk uh, body. I've only got olive here at the moment um, because I've, I've actually run out of Pearsall's primrose, which is my favourite, um, and I can't get hold of it anywhere. I could get three rolls, three bobbins, um, three spools, um, from America for thirty dollars or thirty quid or something like that, which is just a little bit extortionate. So, or is it two rolls? I don't know. But I remember it was really expensive. Um, but it is the best stuff, and I would give it even though it's I think it's waxed. I would give it a little extra wax anyway because um, when they get wet, silks particularly they can they can get darker in colour. Um, and I like the lighter colours. But I've got an olive here to begin with. But if anything, just to show you the pattern. Um, the post will be um, a, a poly post, which I'll show you in a minute, but let's get on first of all. So this is a, a Partridge Dry Fly Supreme hook. It's a size 14, although my go-to is a size 16 for grayling and brown trout. Um, and I wind that down about half the body, half the length of the body, the shank, and then I'm going to tie in my uh, rib body. Uh, I would use Venyard's gold rib um, of a 26 size. I've, again, I've run out of that, so I've got a 27, which is too, thinner than I want. So I'll put that more or less to the eye and then pull it in a little bit. And the idea being is that when I wind the silk back up again, there's an even body. I don't have a, a chunky end bit here. So I'm going to wind this up towards the bend, and as I say, I don't put tails on my uh, flies. The only one I do is a Griffiths gnat, and maybe a little bit of spangly, sparkly tail. And then I'm going to come back up the body again, and my flies aren't perfect, they are a little untidy. I'm going back down again, but they catch lots of fish, grayling particularly, brown trout here in North Wales, and then back up one more time. I'm going to stop about there for the post, so probably about a half a centimetre from the eye, and then I'm going to wind the rib in the opposite direction, effectively to lock down the silk. Hopefully you can see that clearly enough, I've never done a, a fly on camera before. And, and then when I get to the end, where I want to tie it off. I'll pull that up and then I can just literally drop over the silk three times to lock it down and then I can just wriggle that off and it just snap off naturally eventually. But like children, don't do what you ask them to do when you want them to do it. Now the post is polypropylene can see here this is a grey again I've run out of white I've got a little bit of white which I'm going to use but this is grey when it's actually on it looks almost white anyway so and what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet that a little bit I'm going to put a little bit more wax on my silk I'll grip it I'm going to put effectively if you can see this I just realized you can't see very clearly I'm going to put that on my finger and push it on like that Pull the two halves together, two sides together, and lead it up to the top of the shrank. And then lock it twice there, twice over the top. Pull that back up. Lick my fingers again, just to bring the post once round. And then I'm going to tie the post in by hooking with my finger. You can't quite see that too well there. I'll work up the post, put it 
not even a half centimetre, and then back down again. And then when I get back to the bottom, I'll trim off. I am just realised you can't see. Try and zoom out a bit. There we go. I'll trim off the excess. And then I'm ready to tie in my hackle. Now the hackle I've got, my favourite for this is, as you should use for a green mold anyway, is um, is a furnace. This is a furnace cock hackle. I think it came from the States, from the Emporium, which has got mixed reviews from people, but the stuff I've got is pretty decent from it. Um, and I'll pick out a nice strand there. As you can see, the furnace has got like a beautiful mid-brown to sandy brown end tip um, and then the stalk the stem is like a black and it makes a really good it's got a good effect anyway i prefer a hen hackle for this because um it uh, it wriggles more naturally in the water and here's one i'm going to use i'm going to pull off you can see that pull off the lower part like that and then i'm going to tie it I should tie it curls down, but I find the colour is better, curl up like that. I'm going to tie it literally level with the eye, with the shank, each side, a couple of times each side. And then if you really want to lock it down, you can bend the stalk back and lock it down a couple of times there. And then now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do my first half hitch and I've got a half hitch tool here you can use a pen cap and stuff but this is just the most effective and simplest way of locking and then finishing off your fly twice round once twice then roll it up to the eye over the eye and then lock it in and that's now locked in and then I'm going to go for so we can get bit, there we go um, I'm going to go for, if I can find my hackle pliers, they are there. I should do what you do is maybe trim off that stalk, you'll have all noticed that, but anyway. There we go. See me? I'm going to get my hackle pliers in now, and then I'm going to wind just carefully and I don't really need to hold that post I'm not pulling too tightly on it because it's stiff enough see all these contraptions hanging suspended from above I just don't find I need them this is just a really simple fly it's actually nearly finished now and I know that people say oh two three turns I do about six seven sometimes more um, and then I'm gonna lock that over like this over the eye I'll put that over there and then I'm going to use the half hitch again to lock it one two roll it up towards the eye and lock that in a couple of times there we go and then I'll drop it again just to make sure and that should be that trim all that off and then trim my post and then I'll look underneath and it's not perfect as I did say but it's pretty decent I'll just trim off any extra little hackles or little legs flapping wings as they might so that it'll sit flat on the water and then uh, I'm just going to varnish that just as soon as I find my. There it is. See, I'm well I haven't tied flies in about four or five months and you can see it shows. So, a little bit of varnish. Um, I'll just pull the hackles back, just put it around the eye and underneath. Like that. Lay out the hackles again, lid back on, clean off my needle, 
and then jab the eye just to clean the eye out. And there is my first effort. It's quite a simple parachute type pattern. Sorry about the lighting, I am an amateur, but there you go. There we go. And that's my most popular fly. I'll crush down the barb, um, either in the vice or by the river, so I don't use the barbs anymore. But I like the shape of that hook. And that is my first fly. <laughs> 